Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for viewing in. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, fall is right here, up on us. Uh, it's in what, three, four days the first day of fall? And I got my fall decorations up outside, I got my fall decorations up inside. Um, it's really cool here in Kentucky today, so I thought I might as well make myself a follow-up today. But anyway, let me tell you, I've got one side done. I've got this side done and this one not. Of course, you can see them. So I thought I would do one with you. Uh, first of all, let me tell you what I have on my face. I have on the uh, Tone Up Primer in Pink. And uh, I have the Cashmere Complexion liquid foundation in just a second so I can see what I'm reading. I'll try not to blind y'all with the glare. Custard and the Cashmere Complexion Concealer in why didn't I just leave them on people? Uh, mochi and I have some translucent powder, compact powder from Avon. I'm not for sure if it's still in the book or not, but this is in translucent. I also have some magic dust uh, in translucent that I wear occasionally. And I think it's probably time to pull that out and start using it. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I have on my face today. And we will start. If I look down here, I've got a magnifying mirror so I can see what I'm doing down here and my lighting is not very good I apologize for that but I have the warm sunshine the quad from Avon and the romantic mauve and I just have uh, kind of mix them together today so I've got both of them here and <laughs> What I did to start with, I took the number one, oops, number one from the um, Warm Sunshine because it is in the brownish, more of a brown color that I was looking for. And I started out with it up underneath my brow. If y'all have any suggestions for, for what for me to do with this head, this hair, I'd really appreciate it. I'm about ready to the point where I'm going to shave it off. It's very annoying. <laughs> okay, I got that done. And then I went in with another brush here. And I got the number two from the brown side, the Warm Sunshine. And I mixed it with the number three in the Romantic Mauves. So I just kind of mixed them together so I'd have a brownish, plumish color. And I put that in the crease area in the transition. Just back and forth windshield motion. And you can add um, ever how much you want to make it the color that you want. I think that about matches. I think. Uh, then I went in with the full number three. I always tap it off a little bit in my holder here so the uh, a lot of times you tap it like that and then the, the, it goes everywhere the powder and I don't like to dust very well. And I don't like dust on my stuff. So therefore, I try to do something to combat that. Okay. And I put number three from the Warm Sunshine on the uh, whole entire lid. Just a little bit more. I have a Walmart run ready, or I have a Walmart run coming up today. <laughs> I hope y'all have something uh, more fun than that planned. You can tell me in the box below if you want to what you all are doing today. And I really uh, like to read about everyone and see what everyone's day has been like. 
I come back in with the total uh, the total number four, just total the number four on the romantic mauves, and went right in the corner of the eye. Just kind of made that little V in the corner, and up about halfway in the crease line. That just makes the outside of the eye have a little more definition to it. So when someone's looking at you, they it, their eye goes up, up, up towards this darker, darker color. And you want that because, like my channel says, over 50. And I do have... Um, some aging going on. So we try to I try to combat that when I can with any kind of tricks that I can pull off with my makeup or whatever I can do. I do have some uh, new um skincare that I need to share with you all. I've been testing it out to see how I like it before I shared it and I love it. Totally love it. <laughs> so I need to share that with you all. I'm just blending everything in here. I need to share that with you all so uh, you can see that. But honestly, I put it on one afternoon and then I didn't do it anymore because I kept feeling my skin and I was wanting to wait and see how long it would feel satiny. And I could t see, tell the difference. And it was four days, the evening of the fourth day, the night of the fourth day, and I could still feel the difference on my skin. I could still feel it. And then I started using the other, started using it uh, more, and I've been doing that so uh, I can test it all out and see how it works so I could share, and it looks it, well, it looks like it is working great. I really, really do like it. Got a little bit more on this side. I've got my powder brush. Okay, and now, of course, I've got to put a little bit more on the other side. There we go. And then I just took a little bit. Where is my brush? A little brush. This came in the uh, brushes from last year's Christmas. And I've got another one here. I think it was a four pack. But that's where I got this brush. It was so cute. And this year they have another set of brushes that is beautiful. And it comes in a bag, a little, like a tote bag, well, not a tote bag, a storage bag um, that has the Eiffel Tower on it. And I have saw a preview of our uh, Christmas stuff coming out, some of it, and it is unbelievable. It is it's so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to get because I want it all, but I will show uh, that to you, pictures or whatever on my Facebook whenever I uh, I'm mixing the darkest four in the uh, darkest of the warm sunshine and the darkest of the mauve. And I just went right under the eyelid, very close up, just right in the lash line. But yeah, that Christmas stuff that's coming out is beautiful, you all. They have a lot of gift sets ready to go. A new makeup storage caddy. Okay, I think that is good with that. And I got a little bit down here I want it I don't want it to go downward I want it to go upward like I said anything upward will make your eye go up and not sagging down with all the other uh, problems here let's see I'm just going to get a touch of concealer out there 
and I might as well do it over here too. Looks like I got a little bit down there. And that is just, I'm going to do that just to cover up any residue that I got there with the uh, eyeshadow. You can also put uh, some tape here and do it that way to get a perfect edge. If you do, make sure you, uh, if you're using just scotch tape, make sure you put a put it on your shirt or something first and pull it off and then put it on your eye because if you don't, it sticks too hard and it pulls your delicate eye area. I may have to do that sometime and show you how I do that. Um, I have got the... Let's see, what is this one? I think I've got... It's the Tattoo Station uh, Brow Pencil, and it is in medium brown. I saw it without my glasses. It's got the color on one end, spooly on the other end, and it is a retractable, so there's no sharpening or anything like that. It just twists it and it comes out. And If it gets too rounded on the end, all thing you have to do is take something hard and push against it. Oh, <laughs> I scared myself. Just push it against it and that will make your corners come back out. You'll have corners on there. So, it, you can use the edge of it to fill in. So I just done this real quick uh, eyebrow. This is waterproof. This uh, brow pencil is waterproof. I don't think I'll be sweating today. I think it was, <laughs> I think 70 is the high it's supposed to get today. So I don't think I'll be sweating, but I really love using this. I also love the brow pomade that we have now. And I love setting it with the, um, it's a brow gel. It keep, if you have uh, unruly lashes, it will really keep them in their spot. It's like a, kind of like a hairspray for your brows. I really love it. If I want to be out doing anything that I'm, when I go fishing or whatever and I'm going to be sweating, I always use it because it sets, I use the, this or the pomade because it is, both is waterproof. And then I set it just with a little bit of that gel because I'm always rubbing my face and stuff when I'm out fishing with the towel or whatever to uh, stay sweatless. <laughs> but um, when I do that and I use the, the uh, gel, when I rub my face, my, I don't have to worry about my eyebrows being all messed up because it keeps them perfect in shape. And they ain't going nowhere with that gel on. Okay. Just turn go up a little bit. And then out. This side always here always has this little gap in it right there that I tried to just to fill in with color because for some reason no hair grows there yep a little bit more in this area and just gonna just turn it back out just a little bit more And just keep uh, using the spoolie on the other end just to keep everything in place to where I can see that I need more uh, product. And that's about got them even, I do believe. So let's see. I'm going to use the... Uh, 
I'll use the Love at First Lash Mascara. This is just the regular. This isn't the waterproof. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be sweating today outside, but uh, we do have waterproof now in case that you uh, are going out on a hot day or still going to the beach or still going you know, to the pool or whatever. This does come in a waterproof now, but I have got the regular. This uh, mascara, I believe, is fantastic mascara. I start going in here, get down to the root area the best I can. I usually wait till I can feel it slightly touching my eye. And then I wiggle up. But it, this uh, has got lycopene in it, um, oils. It conditions conditions the eyebrow or eyelash. Ah, it conditions the eyelash. A lot of times, a mascara will dry the eyelash out. But this doesn't, it can actually conditions your uh, eyelash. Now, normally I would put one on and then I would do the other and let this one dry while I was doing this one. But since I already have this one on, I'm going to just wait just a couple of minutes and then I will go back and do this one again after it's had a little bit of chance to dry. I don't put any on down on my lower lash. I'm not gonna do that today because like I said, I'm gonna do just a fast, easy, um, simple fall look. And also if you put it down here a lot of times that will make your upward point that you're making here come back down to make your eyes more droopy more saggy more wrinkled looking and you don't want anybody to concentrate on this lash you want them to concentrate on the upper lash so it goes out uh, also I think I told you before you don't want to pump your mascara, a lot of people does. If it's getting low or whatever, just round and round and round and back out. If you pump it, it lets air get down into your tube and that dries out your mascara. Okay, let's see. Let's go back in again. I do go all the way out and I tried to flick these outer lashes up a little bit more than the other and I put a little bit more love at first lash on it then I do the rest of it but I go all the way in and all the way out and when I'm doing this when my eye closes I do get just a as you can see just a little bit on the lower lash it doesn't look like a heavy lash mascara down there to draw anybody's attention to it but it does look like I have some lashes down there because if I don't put any on it at all it um, looks like I don't have any bottom lashes so I just put, when I'm putting this the top on and I blink it gets some down on the bottom lashes and that's what I leave there I don't put any additional on there I just leave it like that then I'm going to need my spoolie again and I just run through the lashes and I kind of wiggle them and push them up at the same time because that will make them go up and curl better and then the spoolie separates them and doesn't keep them from all sticking together. As I said, I just got a little bit on the bottom that was left over from blinking from the top. Now, I think they look, I think I need a little bit more mauve from the Romantic Mauve Quad palette. 
Looks like I need just a little bit more of the number four. This one, the darkest one, in the corner or in this little crease area of the corner to match this one here. That one's a little bit more mauvey than this one is. There we go. Looks like they are even. That's what we like. That's what we want. <laughs> even, even. Now I'll straighten this back up in case I messed it up any. When I put that uh, extra shadow on my eye. Then I used, I think I've got the eyes complete. I've got this side done with the, actually I put a little bit on this side and I was going to wait till I put some more on the other side to try to even them up more. But I had the uh, cushion blush. This is in the red. I really love this blush. I didn't think I would because I usually don't use any kind of liquid uh, blush. I've always been used to using the powder. But I got this just to try it out and I love it. And I'm just putting it on the cheekbone right here and then dab, dab, dabbing up. This cushion, you just push the, your uh, uh, powder puff, I call it, and get just a little bit on because it can go real dark real fast. It's like a watercolor. And you can get too much really fast. So I go a little bit at a time and you dab, 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 dab. You get it on. And, ooh. Okay, and I need a little bit more looks like on this side. They match up with the other side. So I just get a little bit more. They also have this in two other shades. They have the pink and the coral. And I actually have the coral in my cart to order next time that I place the order. Okay, I got the cushion. What, let's see what, if I could see people, it'd be a lot better. The cushion highlighter. And... This one only comes in the one shade here, but it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight shade. And I just dab just a little bit. And what I do, I go above the blush on my cheekbone. I can feel it here, my orbital bone. And I start and I just tab, tab, tab. And then I go down into the shadow just a little bit or the blush just a little bit on the top of it so I just kind of mix those two together Let's see I just want them to combine together there on the bottom part of it so it doesn't look like you got your blush and then your highlighter and if you're using concealer or um, if I could think of something, it would be very nice, wouldn't it? Contour. You'd have your contour, your blush, and then your highlighter. And if you don't like mix them together, it looks like you just got three streaks of color on the side. It doesn't look natural. I don't think. Anyway, that's my opinion. Okay, I've got that done. And I have got the uh, the uh, flat velvet uh, lipstick. Let me see what color it is. Uh, let's see, this is pink rose, rose pink actually, <laughs> rose pink. The flat velvet is my all-time favorite lipstick. It is in like a 
a retractable container. It is flat on the end and that kind of like was weird to start with because you know how the um, lipstick always has the little peak that comes out but this is flat but it is really easy to put on because it is flat and that top upper part of it you can put it right on the edge of the lip and line your lips with this and don't have to use a lip liner and this stays put it doesn't bleed it doesn't smudge once it dries it is on there I know it's lasts at least like 15 hours because I have done that before it gets a little bit um uh, shadier you know a little bit lighter as you wear it throughout the day but it still stays there you still see the color on the lip this is my favorite favorite all-time lipstick and then the mattitude that we have is my all-time favorite liquid lip because it does the same as this only in a liquid form it stays right there where I put it For my um, fall looks, I usually try to look uh, use like a berry color lipstick or a brownish color lipstick. But whichever I do, I want to make sure that it's also I match my shirt with my lipstick. We got match people. Fashion please come and get us. <laughs> now see that I got a little bit of spot right here. It doesn't have any lipstick. Because I believe my lips are a little bit different shape. So the only thing I have to do is take the edge of this flat velvet and feel. Fill that in. Any spot that it misses. Fill it in. Okay. I have my fall look on to go do my little Walmart run today. Not little. I need a lot of stuff. <laughs> so it's going to be a big Walmart run today. But anyway... Uh, we have a beautiful sunshine outside, and it's briskly cool, cool out there today, so it should be a good day to get outside and, and do some stuff. So I hope you all get outside, have fun, and enjoy your weekend, and thank you for viewing in. I really, really appreciate it, and share me if you want, would like. That would be great with me, and uh, subscribe down below, and that would be great. Also, that way I could see you more often, or you could see, we could see each other more often. <laughs> But sharing with your friends, that way we can all play with makeup together. I love playing with makeup. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye.